Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Nikki and I love to crochet plushies. Today we are going to go through my inventory, price everything and do a market stall setup. So just popping in here to say that all prices are subjective and that however you price your items is however you price your items. I am not trying to tell you how to price your items. That is your journey, not my journey. So my items are priced by yarn weight and size. So this is how I price my items. Um, if you feel differently, that is completely up to you. In saying that, these prices are for markets because it does not cost me a lot of money to have a market stall at the market that I am going to be doing. And my first market will be next weekend. So it's not gonna cost me a lot to get a stall there. So I do not have to hike up my prices to pay for fees. Anyways, let's get on to pricing my items. Welcome to my floor. So in this video, I'm going to be pricing all of my plushies and I am going to calculate how much in inventory I do have. So my first box will be my little box here with all of my Optos and all of my little keychains. So I have all of these Optos, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and I think that's all, oh, and fourteen. So I have fourteen of these little octopi, and I'm going to be selling them for ten dollars. That is my cheapest item. So $10 for my little Octos. So my next item are these little mushy pops and they are on keychains. I am selling them for $15. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, thirty-five, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, hundred, 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 so the next item I have are these little keychain egg chicks and these are going for $15 as well. So I have one, two, three, four. I have four of these ones and they are gonna go into the pile over here and we'll move on to the next item. The next item I have are these little heart guys with leggies. I did originally make them as just hearts, but somebody in the comment section said to give them little legs and arms. So I did, and now they look super jacked. <laughs> they look like gym bros. So my little gym bro hearts, I have one, two, and three of those. So the next thing I have are these little keychain stingrays, and they are pretty cute. And these ones here, I have one, two, three, and four of these ones. And they are also going for $15. The next thing I have are these little gummy bears on keychains. And I had to start using velvet yarn because I burnt my hand pretty badly last week. That's why I haven't been doing much. So I have made four of these guys and they are also going for $15. These little gummy bears, I think I'm gonna make some more of them because they do turn out pretty cute and very fluffy because of the velvet yarn. I really do like them. I will put the pattern for this in the description box below, along with everything else that I have made and everything I've made is from a free pattern or something I've designed myself which will also be a free pattern. 
The next thing I have are these little fried eggs. So these guys are also $15. I also have this little bee and I'm selling him for $15. He is also on a keychain. And last but not least, I have this little fishy and he's also $15. Let's move on to our small plushies, which are in this box right here. So in this box, I have bees in two different colors. I have them in a brighter yellow and a more muted yellow. And these guys are going for $20 each. I have in the brighter yellow, I have one, two, three, four, five and six of these guys and then in the muted yellow I have them in I have three of these ones so there's nine bees and they are going at twenty dollars a piece so we also have these little whales in different colors I have four of these and these are going for $20. Next up, we have these cute little llamas, and these are going for $20 each. They are a sew pattern, but they do turn out very adorable. And the next thing I have are these little leggy froggies. I have three in this color here, in the marbled green. I have three in the marbled pink, and I have three in the marbled blue, and I have two plain green ones. These are going to go for $15 each, just until I know how well they're gonna go at markets, because I'm not too sure how well they'll go here. I know in America they go very, very well, but I'm not sure how they'll do at a market here in Australia. So, leggy froggies, I'm gonna start them at $15, and if they go really well, I'll up the price to 20. The next thing I have are these cute little kittens. I have two in white and tan. I have two in brown, and I have two in black and white. So these kittens I'm going to sell for $10 a piece because they are a no-sew pattern and they don't take very long to do up. Okay, so for something different, I have these little bees, the sitting bees, and these are going to go for $15. They are smaller than the other bees, but they're still cute. On It's Lonesome, we have this little flower here and he is pretty cute. I made him for Valentine's Day and he's still hanging around. So I'm going to sell this one for $15. It is pretty cute and if it goes well, I'll make some more for Mother's Day. My next item are these little Triceratops. I have two green, two yellow, two pink, and two purple, and these are going to go for $15 a piece. They're small and they're no so, and they're pretty cute. Last but not least, I have these little mushy boys. I have five of these, and I'm going to sell my little mushy boys for $15 a piece. Moving on to our medium plushies which is this big box that is overflowing. This one is a big one. In this box of plushies, I have these cute little turtles and I have six of these turtles. I have them in pink and green, brown and green and green and white. 
I have six of these little fellas and these ones are going to be going for $25 a piece. Pretty much everything in this box is going between $20 and $30. The next thing I have are these little ducks with hats on. I have two with froggy hats, these guys. I have two with eggy hats and then I have one with a strawberry hat. And these guys are going for $25 a piece. The next thing I have are these little chickens. I have brown, black and white, plain white, and speckled tan. And I also have a plain gray one. They're a bigger chicken and they're really squishy and cute. Another $20 item that I have are these little penguins, or big penguins. They turned out much larger than what I thought they would be, but I'm going to sell these guys for $20 a piece. So next I've got this cute little cat that's going to sit with the little kittens. So this is mummy cat, my little Toby. Next up I have my little dinos and these ones here I am going to be selling these ones for $20 a piece so I have a lot of them <laughs> one two three four five six seven and eight I have eight dinos and they are going to go for $20 a piece. Last but not least, we have this cute little flower frog. And I'm, I, I only made one because I don't know how this one's gonna go, but it is really, really cute. One thing I did forget about from this box, I did have these little no-so bunnies and they looked a little bit boring. So what I did is I made a pattern for a little bag for them to live in. And if you would like to make this for your own plushies, it is on my Instagram. I'll put the handle down below and you can check it out yourself if you wanna make some of these to put your plushies in. But he just sits in there and I'm going to sell these together. And it's like a little hat for him. And he's got a little drawstring bag that he can sit in. It's pretty cute. These ones here, I have three of. So this is the end of my medium plushie box. We're gonna move on to the larger plushies. You can see. There. Now. My larger plushies, I have this cute little giraffe and the giraffe is gonna go for $45. He's pretty cute and he's nice and fluffy too. I also have this little lemonade cow and I'm selling this one here for $45 as well. So, these guys that I thought would not do very well at all, these guys are super cute and I am selling them for $35. They are adorable and squishy and they have felt eyes so they're a little bit safer for the littlest kitties. So we have one axolotl, one rainbow axolotl. I don't really like making axolotls very much, but I thought I'd give it a go. Somebody asked for it, so I obliged and made an axolotl, but I don't think I'll ever be making them again. This guy here is gonna go for $30. And next we have my little mermaids. These ones here were super cute to do up. I did not think they would turn out this cute. These guys are going for $40. I have recently become obsessed with giving plushies wearables. 
So my little bears, I did end up making them some bags, some little backpacks for their little backs. So these guys are going to go for $60. They have got um, the sparkly colored eyes. So they were a little bit more expensive to make and they did take longer to make, but they are very cute and I do adore them. And I hope that they get adopted by a little kid who really does want to play with it all the time. Last but not least, my pride and joy, these little sleeping dragons. I have got four of these and these are gonna go for $50 a piece. They are super cute and I think kiddos will love these little guys just as much as I do. Now, I am going to be bringing this big guy here with me, my giant dragon, as a centerpiece for my table so that everyone can see just how absolutely gorgeous he is. I am going to put a price tag on him, but I hope he doesn't sell because he is gorgeous. In the comments below, see if you can come up with a name for this guy because I do love him and I do want to put his little name on a tag for everyone to see. If I do sell him, I will probably be selling him for $200. He does take up a lot of time and a lot of materials did go into this guy but I do love him and I do not regret making him not one bit. Now I have finished all of the pricing. I think I did pretty well over the last couple of months to accumulate this much to sell. And I already have sold a large plushie and several small plushies just to people I know and people through word of mouth. So hopefully, Markets will go great and I will sell some of this stuff. I do have a few projects in the works at the moment, which I haven't quite finished, so I haven't calculated. So let's go and do a market stall setup and see how we go with that. So welcome to my lounge room slash dining room. And it's too small to fit everything in, but I can't set up outside because my doggy is a big dog and he will eat all of these. So I've got on this table here, all of my keychains, my leggy froggies and llamas, um, my chickens and kittens and cats and bees and my mushy boys over there. I am putting a sign over here. This is this sign is going to be for my Instagram and my little banner. I don't have a big banner yet. It's going to take another 10 days to get that. So that's what I've got so far. And I got these little chalkboard signs here that I am going to write on tonight. Um, but here's my little medium sized plushies and my octos and my bigger plushies are over here for the moment I think I'm gonna get another one of these collapsible stands which I have over here which has got mythical creatures and dinosaurs on so that is all there I have my turtles here and this is what I am taking to market. If I can, I am going to try and get another one of these stands here that were on special. It is a plant stand, but it folds down to the smallest square possible. So I will, it will not take up too much room because my first market is going to be all by myself. So I have got no help so I hope to Christ I don't need a toilet break. So here we go. This is my setup. 
Thank you very much for sticking around for this video and thank you very much to all of my new subscribers, everyone who has liked my videos or who has commented and just been so lovely. It fills my heart with absolute joy. And hopefully next week I will have a market video for you if the weather holds up. And I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye. Pew, pew.